Hey, hello, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to teach you about what happens when K2 is sitting in the 9th house of D9 chart or Navam's chart. So before beginning, if you guys not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon and click the like button. And if you guys have any doubts after watching this video, please do mention that in my below comment section, okay? And yes, please like and follow my Facebook community page, Parikshit Astrology also. So let's begin. Now coming to the Navam's chart or the D9 chart. See guys, Naomi's chart of the D9 chart is the second most important chart of your birth chart. It mainly gets activated after your 36 years or 33 years of your life or after your married life. Now, see guys, Naomi's chart of the D9 chart is mainly seen for your strengths of your planet. It is also seen for your relationship between you and your spouse and also your married life. Now, coming to the strengths of your planet. So let's say for example, if sun is doubled in your birth chart and that planet sun is being exalted in your Navam's chart or the DNA chart, that shows that that planet sun has gained extra strength or extra power. Now coming to the married life. See guys, every individual divinal chart, including the main birth chart, has its own Karaka planet or the significant planet. So likewise, let's say for example, in the birth chart, sun is the Karaka planet. So same thing in the Navam's chart or the DNA chart. Venus is the Karaka planet. So Venus should be in an exalted sign, Mothricon sign, own sign or in a friendly sign. That shows that your married life will be good. Now, coming to the ninth house of your D9 chart or Navam's chart. Now, what does ninth house of your D9 chart or Navam's chart represents? See guys, ninth house of your D9 chart or Navam's chart represents your fortune, your destiny, your luck. It also represents your relationship between your father after the married life. It also represents whether you believe in your dharma or religion or not can be seen from the ninth house of your D9 chart or Navamsa chart. Now, what happens when K2 is sitting in the ninth house of your D9 chart or Navamsa chart? So, what does planet K2 represent? See, guys, planet K2 represents separation, detachment. It also represents spirituality. It also represents isolation. So, when K2 is sitting in the ninth house of your D9 chart or Navamsa chart, that shows that these people will be disconnected from their father. See guys, ninth house of your D9 chart or Navamsa chart represents your fortune, your destiny, your luck. It also represents your relationship between your father after the married life. It also represents whether you believe in your dharma or religion or not can be seen from the ninth house of your D9 chart or Navamsa chart. Now what happens when K2 is sitting in the ninth house of your D9 chart or Navamsa chart? So what does planet K2 represent? See guys, planet K2 represents separation, detachment. It also represents spirituality. It also represents isolation. So when K2 is sitting in the ninth house of your D9 chart or Navam's chart, that shows that these people will be disconnected from their father or might be having some bad relationship with father or can be separated from their father. Why? Because K2 represents separation. And ninth house of your D9 chart represents your father after your married life, how will be your relationship with your father after married life? So, K2 and Ninthos will definitely uh, separate the person relationship with the father after the married life if they are running under K2 Matasha or Antasha. Now, it also shows that these people are very much interested towards the spirituality after the married life. Okay, uh, and they may not be interested towards the materialistic things. Why? Because the Ninthos is about the fortune, materialistic things, and all. So they may not be interested towards that. And they will believe in their own dharma, uh, religion and everything. Okay. Now, what happens when K2 is sitting with different planets like benefic planets and malefic planets? Now, what happens when K2 is sitting with planet moon? That shows that these people will be attracted or will be interested towards their own uh, religion, spiritual things. and all. Why? Because the moon represents mind. Moon represents your emotion. So these people will be emotionally attached towards the spiritual things. And all. Now, what happens when K2 is sitting with planet Venus? Again, Venus represents love. Uh, Venus represents romance. Venus represents materialistic world. So when Venus is with K2, these people love yoga. These people will love their religion. These people will follow their dharma and etc. 
and it also shows that these people may not be interested in terms of love or romance why because venus and ketu represents bad relationship with their spouse after the married life okay. now coming to jupiter if ketu and jupiter are conjunct in the ninth house that shows that these people might not be having that much of great connection with a guru advisor or counselor why because jupiter represents guru teacher and advisors that's all and these people can even become the head of the trustee of particular spiritual organization or big organization etc any organization or even they can even teach to the ngo children or they can become a very good teacher and give service to the students okay or they might be interested towards astrology stuff like that etc now what happens when ketu is with mercury in the ninth house that shows that these people always interested in talking towards the spirituality and loves to communicate and loves to travel to the foreign land and loves to travel uh, to the different different places especially spiritual places and holy places etc now what happens when ketu is with benefic planets like mars saturn or sun so that shows that these people definitely will be having some trouble in believing their dharma or religion okay even though sun is with ketu that's good but up to some extent okay and with mars or saturn it's literally bad they need to work hard they need to concentrate towards their dharma and they need to have some belief towards their dharma after the married life okay that's the one thing guys and for these people the marriage will get delayed and it also shows that these people need to be very much careful after the married life so yeah this was my analysis of ketu reading the 9th house of t9 chart of norm chart with other planets so yeah this is it for today guys if you are new to my channel please subscribe below or else i'll see in the next video so if you want any consultancy please to contact me given below whatsapp number or else you can even mail me also so until unless thank you bye bye love you take care